Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, all that stuff. Hope you're having an awesome day. And I'm still fighting off my cold, so I'm gonna sound a little funny, but I'm, I'm getting close. I'm this close. I'm just, ah, so close. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to talk one more time about Aurora HDR 2019 before it launches. Uh, pre orders are still going on, so this is kind of your last chance, last hurrah to get in on the pre order, which gives you, uh, you know, uh, discounted pricing, some nice bonuses, that sort of thing. I'll put all the details down below, and I'll also put a link down below uh, that you can order it with if you're interested. And if you're not, that's cool too. That is an affiliate link, so if you buy with that link, I make a couple bucks, which is how I support myself and help, uh, you know, continue to invest in all these videos, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, enough marketing talk, if you will. Uh, I just wanna jump into the product. I created a photo here. I used multiple layers, masking, presets, lots of stuff. Thought I'd show it to you. So here's the uh, the bracket set. These are three uh, exposures uh, shot as a bracket set in Venice, Italy. So here's uh, the dark, the medium, and the light. So three exposures, quick fire. In fact, it may have been handheld, I don't recall. Um, and here's my final result in Aurora HDR 2019. Um, I like it, it's a little bit dramatic, obviously. Um, I kinda like a little bit of drama in my photos, probably also obvious, and I love my color. Hey, also obvious. Um, but I actually toned down some of the colors here, but I did a lot of different things. Let me jump into this and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so here is the base HDR completely unedited. There's the center exposure from the bracket set. There's the base HDR. As you can tell, I did a little bit of um, lens correction, uh, distortion correction right there. So I did that, and so if you look, there's the before and the after. You can see it's moved a little bit. I also straightened the photo slightly. Now in this base layer, I first went into HDR basic and did some you know, basic adjustments, right? So I did a little bit of warming it up, actually, um, and then I added some contrast and adjusted the highlights down and the shadows up. Kind of your basic stuff, balancing the light out. Um, I then went into the color filter, and this is where I bumped up the vibrance and the color contrast. As you can see, I'm creating a sunset kind of warm look to the photo. Uh, and I'm going a little bit fast, only because I want to show you everything I did, and I got several layers, and I don't want to take too long in a video, right? So um, HDR Enhance was next, and this is one of the new filters. It's Well, it's sort of a... There's new stuff in it, like HDR Smart Structure, which I think is awesome. But if you look at the buildings, like on the sides uh, of either photo, I added a fair amount of HDR Smart Structure, and it really bumps up the detail and the crispness in those buildings without adding a lot of noise and distracting artifacts in the sky and the water. It's one of the new uh, filters, and I'm loving that. Also added some clarity. Uh, and then I went into LUT mapping, and uh, this is also uh, new in uh, Aurora 19. And I chose the Glorious LUT, gave it a nice little color pop. And then what I did is I just took it down to about 75 instead of 100. So um, 100, it looks like that. So there's the before and the after of that LUT. And like I said, I just took it down to about 75. I kind of liked it there. So that's kind of what I did. Next up was Image Radiance. And I love that filter, to be honest. Um, I use it a lot in Luminar, and I, I like to use it a lot in Aurora as well. Gives that soft kind of romantic glow, and it sort of is a counterbalance to me of the uh, the move I did earlier with the smart structure, where I bumped up the structure and the crispness of those buildings. Adding the image radiance gives a little bit of shadow, a little bit more contrast, and to me it just adds some mood. and And that's the way I like to uh, develop my photos. Is I want to accentuate the mood, and even in HDRs, which you know, in theory at least. An HDR is designed to allow you to get better visibility or distribution of light across a photo so you can see the whole thing. I like to add back a little bit of shadow. To me, it's more realistic, a little bit more moody and dramatic, and I don't know, it's just what I like. So I did that. I also um, added some vivid vividness and uh, cooled it off a little bit. And the last thing I did here is just color toning, and boom, you can see that was quite a bit of blue. And what I did is I just dragged the hue and the highlights over to the blue and then moved the saturation of that, which is like the amount slider to 57 apparently. So if you look at the sky and the water, you can kind of see they were a bit more yellowy and now they're a bit more blue. So that was the entire first layer. Okay, the next thing I did was add a new layer and here I went and got one of Serge Romilly's presets. He's got a preset collection built in. So I went to, uh, sorry, I called it a preset. I'm, I'm gonna screw that up forever. They're called looks now. Anyway, um, the one I went and got was his Sunset, where is it? There it is, Sunset. So I went and got his Sunset look, not a preset, it's a look. Um, and I slapped that on there, but then I went and uh, 
took this and I clicked luminosity mask and so it built a luminosity mask and applied it uh, and then I dropped the opacity to 80%. So let me just show you what this mask looks like on this layer. That's the luminosity mask that Aurora will create for you automatically. And so when it applies the preset, it applies it more heavily in the, in the more luminous parts of the photo. So um, that was a preset of Serge's with the luminosity mask. And then I reduced the opacity to 80 just to take down the intensity a little bit. And so that was that entire layer. Next up, I added a new layer. If I can click on it, there we go. And this was to reduce the reds. And so all I did is I went into HSL and I took down the saturation of the reds and the oranges, which was in the buildings. And to me, it was getting a little too intense. So I reduced those a little bit. And then I added another layer and I did the same thing, but this time with the blues. And that was because again, it felt like it was getting a little too intense. Um, however, with the blues, I just masked that in to the uh, left side here. And that's because the building was uh, picking up some of the blue color in the brick. And I, uh, you know, I don't know about you, but bricks should be red. Um, so um, that was my thinking. So I took the blues down in that, uh, in that area. And so now I'm getting a photo that I really like. I've just got a couple of extra steps here. And that is I went and added denoise. And once again, I uh, painted that in with the mask. Let me turn that on. So I denoised and then I added that to the sky and the water. So there we go. I just took my brush, painted it in after I made the adjustments, and that smoothed that out a lot. Some people don't add it to the water because it'll, it will soften the reflection a little bit, but to me that water is still enough that the reflection is still pretty crisp without, um, uh, even though I added noise reduction to it. So it works for me, at least in this photo. Uh, and then the very last thing I did was add a vignette. And I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sold on the vignette on this photo. I think I like it. Um, but I also made it a little bit more rectangular, which you do by taking a roundness slider and going to the left. So if I go like that, um, it's more uh, rectangular. And if I go this way, it's more round, right? So I don't know where I was, but maybe something like that. Anyway, that's the entire workflow for this photo. You can see that I made a major difference in, uh, you know, it was late afternoon in Venice. It was sunsetty, but that's the middle exposure. You don't see a lot of the sky in that. Uh, or the color, and so I was able to bring that back, uh, and you know, partly due to the uh, Serge Romilly look that I applied with a lum luminosity mask, able to give it a bit of color pop, especially in that sky where it was pretty lacking. There's the before, that, again, single exposure, well that is the single middle exposure. I did take three exposure brackets that I merged, and my final photo. And that's how it works. That's a quick demo. There's a lot of features in um, Aurora HDR 2019, and I'll be back with more videos about it, but I wanted to let you know that uh, you know you got a couple of days left to get in on the pre-order if you're interested, and if you're not, that's cool too. If you do pre-order, I'd appreciate it if you, you uh, use my link. Helps me a lot. You have no idea how much, and I really appreciate it. And that's it for this video, my friends. Hope you're having an awesome day. If you have any questions, Leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, let me know what's happening, and uh, have a great one. I'll see you soon. Take care. Adios.